The internet can be a cold and personal place, but not in Hansel Jung's new play, Wild Goose Dreams, directed by Lee Silverman. One, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, deleted. Well, one of the things that I love most about this play is the way that the, the internet is represented. Generally, when I've seen other productions, the internet is represented through projections or in a kind of cold, sterile way. And in this production, um, it's all, the internet is represented through music, through this a cappella singing. And it actually brings um, a tremendous amount of humanity to the internet. Surprise face with hands on cheeks, Zen! It makes it feel, I think, like the internet is just full of people reaching out in a way and that the noise of it comes from people, not from a kind of computer-generated world. So, in fact, everything about the production is about that kind of humanity and the need for connection. Actors breathe life into the online conversations and create a space where people can meet. Do you like sushi? Wild Goose Dreams is set in Seoul and looks to a North Korean defector who has left her family behind and a lonely South Korean father who sent his family to America for a better life. They call us the Goose Fathers. I can look that up for you. Search Goose Father Origin Aha. Wikipedia Korea. The Goose Father is a Korean man who works in Korea while his wife and children stay in an English-speaking country for the sake of the children's education. Wild Goose Dreams is having its world premiere at the La Jolla Playhouse, but it began life with a provocation from the royal court to write a play set in Korea. I'm from Korea, so being here was um, a little alienating. Or like I, I, got, I was aware that I was a Korean in America. And so I think writing about home, which I've never done before, sort of brought on thinking about those feelings of being alone or in, in a community that you live in but not really are from. Congratulations, Yunani. You've been selected for a one-month free trial membership at lovegenie.co.kr. Thousands of elite men are just waiting for your poke of love. Each character feels alone and displaced, but they end up starting an unlikely online romance. Why are you on this website, Seth? I'm, I'm lonely. lonely. Oh, that makes me sad. Me too. I felt like she understands um, deeply um, the thing that we are all striving for, which is more connection. Karaoke? Maybe? I think that this story of longing and loss and missing your family and wanting to feel at home in both yourself and your country is something that we can all identify with and that sense of dislocation that her characters feel while they are Korean it could also be American and I think that that is the gift of really great writing is that the more specific it is to a different culture the more you feel it in your own culture and in your own heart. Chung began writing her play years ago but its themes about displaced people feels particularly resonant in today's political climate. I would like there to be complicated feelings and, and a, an invitation to look into the same struggle they're having in their lives in terms of identifying people that you will fight for, identifying people you have taken for granted, and also in, in, a, in the larger political scheme to, to look around at outsiders versus insiders and, and like sort of try to find a commonness within each other. Wild Goose Dreams takes flight at La Jolla Playhouse with the hope that it can connect with audiences in meaningful ways. Bafa Commando, KPBS News.